Hello, welcome back to VS Live. Today I will be sharing a couple of things that you can do inside Blender that's actually satisfying and meditational. So um, this is actually for um, any 3D artist, any beginners or even old school 3D artists. They can use Blender and just to relax, you know, just to meditate. Uh, you can play music and just do whatever. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Okay, so that's the that's the, really the most important thing. So a couple of things here that I cover, I'm gonna cover from grease pencil to 3D sculpting and then painting, texturing, and vertex painting. Those three, I think, are really satisfying in Blender. So let's start with grease pencil. So when you have a Blender here, if you shift A and then create grease pencil, just start with a blank grease pencil object and you switch to draw and you already know if you are in grease pencil mode, you can do a lot. And of course, by default, uh, grease pencil is really for drawing and also for animating. So you can animate uh, using grease pencil. So that's already quite uh, fun. But what I found really satisfying is that if you are doing grease pencil and kind of mirror it and drawing on top of 3D objects, Okay, so I have Suzanne head here. Just gonna subdivide Suzanne, and then I create a grease pencil object blank. Go to draw mode and switch to surface. Get rid of this offset value because we're gonna just draw on top of Suzanne. Okay, and I found this to be really quite satisfying. This is the act of Kind of tracing you can do uh, tracing on video as well in blender but you can yeah tracing anything uh, any 3d objects or 3d mesh using grease pencil is really quite satisfying and this is uh, I don't know what it is but this is really important and also with grease pencil we know we have a couple of modifier right one of them is a mirror. Mirror is really powerful and really fun, um, especially if you can see the result right away. And yeah, if you want to give it a color, give a material, just give the some bright color, and go back to modifier and just use maybe with build modifier and animate your creations. So that's really satisfying and see with the build modifier there's a couple of things uh, you can use sequential or concurrent concurrent you can see each strokes is being painted being uh, growing like at the same time animating at the same time that's also really quite satisfying so that's a grease pencil a really quick one the second thing you can do that's really quite satisfying is of course Sculpting. Sculpting is something that can be really complex, but don't worry too much about it. Just use a simple brush, draw brush. Don't use any other tools. Just, just draw and you know just sculpt. So by default, this sculpt has this kind of pixelated look. Um, I think they should have smoothed it at the very beginning, so it's more satisfying like this. So. I'm gonna go back to sculpt mode and you can sculpt and draw and if, if you hold sh uh, command you can have the invert so it's like push and pull and if you hold shift you kind of smooth it out that's really quite satisfying and on top of that um, there's also this dynamic di dynamic topology that you can turn on with this one you can change the topology on the fly and make changes into your skull very very quickly and this is also satisfying you, you don't need to make uh, anything you know you just can just randomly sculpt you can go zoom in zoom out adding more details reducing the detail very very satisfying and on top of this you also have uh, the cloth brush and cloth brush is really quite satisfying 
any sculpt you do will turn into uh, some kind of closed simulations. So let's uh, let's actually restart this. File new sculpting and just switch to cloth brush and just start playing with these cloth simulations. Uh, again, this one by default is pixelated or shade flat. Turn it into shade smooth and go back to sculpt mode, cloth mode, and you have a couple of options, a couple of tools drag, push, inflate, grab, administrate, grab. I think this is really quite fun to do, quite satisfying to look at. Change the radius. Okay, you can change here or just right click, change the radius. Uh, oh, okay. This part, wrinkle. Don't worry, just shift and paint on it. You can get rid of the ring wrinkle. Maybe I should turn on the dynamic topology as well. Well, sculpting this cloth. Shake it. Change this to dry. Very, very satisfying. Go back to object mode. Right click, smooth. And you create something pretty abstract but it's actually fun and satisfying so the next thing is 2d 3d painting texturing and vertex painting so yeah that's uh, that's also really uh, something that's really simple and easy to to do um, and I found satisfying because you just paint you can bring objects from sketchfab but for now I'm gonna show you okay this is the default cube right if you switch to the texture painting mode, uh, you need to set up something before you can start painting. So with this material slot, just add a base color. 1024 by 1024, okay, that's fine. Now, once you have that set up, make sure this is also showing material base color. So this is the 2D mode, as you already know, and this is a 3D mode and you can start painting and this is really quite simple and fun to do and really quite satisfying if you are for example like a, a artist like Yayoi Kusama she likes to make dots on the surface so you can start doing that endlessly And you can do it in 2D or 3D, whatever you like. And this is quite satisfying. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. If you are happy with this, don't forget to save. Otherwise, it can, can be stressful if you lost your work. Save. Okay, this is cool and fun. But on top of that, of course, uh, if you don't want to do it uh, using 2D painting, you can just use vertex painting and just paint on the vertex of an object. So I have, for example, an object from Sketchfab that I can just load it into Blender. For example, this this one is a 3D scan of hands. I forgot where from, but okay, this is a hand, and I can select this from here. There, I think there's actually two hands. Just gonna need this one. Okay, this guy, Command J, I'm gonna join them together, because this is 3D scan, it's very dense, I'm gonna merge them together by distance, getting rid of what we don't need. So you can do the UV and then start painting, or you can use vertex paint. With vertex paint, you can just paint right away on the surface, right? And if you want to change color, you can do it here. Or with vertex, uh, vertex painting, you can right click and get this color picker and start painting. And I think this is also really quite satisfying and fun to do. 
it's all about painting, drawing, and sculpting, right? It's all the things that you do normally in traditional art. Uh, it's not like, I mean, it's you can do it prof professionally, you know, like 3D sculpting professionally, you, you actually start sculpt something, but you can also do this just for fun, just to relax, meditate. Uh, the computer is a bit slow, but you get the idea. And the tools you have, there's this draw tools, blur. You can blur this. If it's the, a little bit too slow because this thing is quite high density, you can always remesh it. So remesh the surface, voxel, make it like 0 0.3. Oops. Did I get something? Oh, because this object is maybe too small compared to Suzanne. Okay, so let's clean this a little bit. So right click, clear the parent and click transformations. Make this a bit larger, 10 times. Control A, apply transform, remesh, okay, 0 0.01, it's a little bit less dense, just apply, okay, now we can put it screen, oh, okay. Yeah, so it's a little bit faster now. So painting from you know like blank canvas. Uh, this model I again I download from Sketchfab. There's a lot of uh, downloadable three D objects there, or you can also download it from three D scanning app. Ah, uh, three D scanning website, or you can scan your uh, your own objects. If you have a smartphone that can do scanning, and this one's doing average. It's pretty interesting. A lot of interesting tool here with the uh, vertex painting, and you don't need to worry about the UV. It's just gonna paint on the vertex. A lot of tools out there, three D tools like in VR that uses uh, vertex painting. And glad that Blender actually have this. You can blur and you can average the value, mixing the value, and then you can also this bring this smear. Okay, smear and it feels like watercolor painting. If your computer is a little bit faster, this is more satisfying because it's it's real time. And with Fredex painting of course once you're done don't forget to go to material assign a material shader and vertex color just applying that and you should have the color okay so there you go that's a couple of things that's quite satisfying and meditational for you um, you can try it yourself, so you don't need to understand 3D as a whole, but this thing can get you started. Twist pencil animations, 3D sculpting, painting and texturing. Those really artful things are also quite blendful. Alright, so there you go. Thanks again for tuning in. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.